All right, guys, today we're going to talk about the smoothest pens you can buy for EDC. Now, in fairness, when it comes to EDC pens and all such things, you know, there is arguable benefits to really going for an EDC pen like this. And in fairness, a Pilot G2 will do most of what this does. However, if you are looking for a pen that genuinely offers a lot of durability, longevity, and if you're the person that is not very prone to losing one, and you want something that just writes and can take a lot of abuse, these types of pens might be up your alley. I know whenever I talk to, especially people who aren't in the EDC community, they often talk to me like, why in the world would you buy a 100 plus dollar pen when you can go out and get something like a Pilot G2 pen or even a Fisher Space pen for a few dollars per pen and ink refill and then just have it something that's completely disposable. And first off, I will say, uh, you know, like I said, I think the biggest thing that comes down to it is the end user durability. Uh, as you can see with this one here, it isn't the most heavily used example, but you can see that these pens are able to take quite a bit of abuse, a beating, and still work. And a lot of times your things like a Pilot G2 that has a plastic body will eventually break, crack, and fail. So that is something nice if you do work in an industrial application where hard use is a reality, especially these titanium pens more than the brass, but really all of them can take quite a bit of a beating. But also too, there is the environmental impact of these guys where, you know, if you are using a completely plastic pen and you're throwing them away every time you're done, that creates a lot of waste. Whereas with one of these guys, all you have to do is worry about ink refills. And so you just replace this as opposed to an entire pen every so often. And that does lessen your environmental impact. So depending on the reason why there are some valid reasons to go with a more expensive metal pen, especially titanium. Now, that being said, and that out of the way, let's actually talk about why I really like Ultimate Survival Gears or now Smooth Precision Pens. So what I mean is these two pens right here were manufactured by um, Kelvin and he ran a company previously known as Ultimate Survival Gear or USG and recently, semi-recently, basically towards the end of last year, he changed the name of the company to uh, Smooth Precision Pens. And so that is where we get this. Now this is their version 2.1. They have actually already released a version 2.2, but it, this one is still close enough to it. And I want to do this video kind of breaking down because I have some different generations here and iterations of the pen and seeing if you know you have this pen versus this pen or one of their earlier, this is a generation two Ultimate Survival Tybo um, pens you know is it worth upgrading or what are kind of the differences now first off I will say if you have one of their later generation ultimate survival gear tie bolts I would say probably don't upgrade because to be completely honest between this generation and this generation of the smooth precision pen there really isn't a whole lot of difference I would say the biggest difference is that they removed the kind of click feature in the back which is okay because this is kind of hard to use. Um, it's not very intuitive. If there was some way, uh, some kind of like milling or texturing on the back of this to help with the rotation, it would probably be a lot more useful. But as it stands, this really isn't that useful. So yeah, that piece kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But as far as the actual pen goes with the kind of later gen tie bolts versus the smooth precision pens. Um, there really isn't a whole lot of difference as you guys can see here. They're even very similar in size. Um, in fact, actually this isn't the best representation, but this guy is a little bit smaller than this guy unless you have this retracted. So um, they're very similar. I will say, of course, the smooth precision pens are absolutely super, super smooth definitely a little bit smoother than this but i don't think it's enough to justify or warrant upgrading over this guy or over this previous generation and as far as actual features go when it comes down to it you know you do have some texturing 
on both of them. I will say the texturing on the newer generations is slightly more grippy, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, it's just ever so slightly more grippy, but in all reality, it's not really a huge thing. And once again, you probably wouldn't notice it unless you were like me, indirectly side by side comparing it. Now, aside from that, like I said, they got rid of that. They added some extra texturing or made the tread pattern on this a little bit more grippy. But realistically, there isn't a whole lot of difference between these two pens. Now, where you might seriously want to upgrade is if you have something like an old tie bolt, a tactile turn, a big idea design pen, those types of pens, I would recommend upgrading from to get into something like this because I will say, I have to say, in my opinion, um, Ultimate Survival Gear slash now Smooth Precision Pens make some of the smoothest bolt action pens. Now this, like I said, is one of their older generations, so it's definitely not quite as nice, but these modern Smooth Precision Pens are so, so smooth to operate. Even, like I said, these latter generation Ultimate Survival Gear ones are super, super smooth. Um, but either way, this these guys are totally worth buying now, like these newer ones, if you do have an older generation, because these have some of the best actions of any bolt action pen I have found on the market. And not to mention, when it comes down to it, one of my favorite things about really the whole lineup of Ultimate Survival Gear slash Smooth Precision Pen pens is that they're one of the only bolt action pen companies that builds the clip into the actual bolt and not only does that make it a lot easier because this is your bolt it's just much larger much easier to interface with uh, bolt action but also it prevents your um, so since the clip is built into the bolt action, it prevents it from accidentally engaging while it's in your pocket. Because if this is locked into your pocket, this bolt can't really move. So it makes the chance of the pen actually engaging in your pocket far less likely. Except unless you have one of these kind of clickers. That kind of can be a bit of a uh, killer. But aside from that one point, um, these clips being the bolt action makes it um, much harder for accidental deployment so yeah these guys are really good i'm not sure what more i can really say but i do enjoy using them these are definitely my go-to's and especially these titanium smooth precision pens are featherweights they weigh absolutely nothing they weigh about as much as a plastic pen but are insanely durable and tough but yeah really nice i think too i really like um the minimal kind of milling and overall features and textures on these things they're not very tactical they're not very you know they don't really stand out and i personally really like that about them i think they look very minimal and very nice in my opinion and i think that makes them versatile for a great deal of situations very similar in my mind to something like the Chris Reeve knives in Kosi or Sabenza, where, you know, they just look classy. They look elegant. They look timeless. And overall, I think they hold up very well. Anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.